Right, hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Jack Lee. This is Jack Lee Golf. If you are new around here, please consider subscribing. I've got plenty of good content coming this year, such things as course vlogs, equipment reviews, instructional videos. So if you like all that good stuff, drop us a subscribe and I'd massively appreciate that. Without further ado, let's get into my top five drivers of 2019. Right then, first up in no particular order, we've got the TaylorMade M5 and M6 drivers. The big thing with these drivers is the new speed injector twist face. To me, that sounds like Botox gone wrong, don't you think? In actual fact, instead of it being a speed injection, it's actually a speed reduction. So TaylorMade kind of pushed this face to the maximum legal limit that they could have done, actually overstepped the line, and then since have had to inject resin into the face to kind of slow it down a little bit. So. The colour scheme is carbon and blood orange, which is very similar to another driver which I'll be talking about a little bit later in this video. On the M5 we've got the inverted T-Tract, which means that you can change spin, so you can kind of go high spin if you move it further back, changing the centre of gravity, uh, lower spins if you want to move it a little bit further forward, and you've also got the draw and fade bias as well. Variety of lofts and shafts in this driver. With the M6 you haven't got the inverted T-Tract, you can only adjust the loft sleeve which is on the neck. The TaylorMade M5 will be retailing at roughly £500 in the UK and the TaylorMade M6 will be about £450, so that's the first one of my top five. Okay, next up we've got the new Callaway Epic Flash. This includes the new Flash Face, which has been created by uh, Artificial Intelligence Supercomputer, what Callaway say. So, depending on... Uh, they did a, a massive, massive test sample and they found that the, where the strikes varied, they needed to improve kind of where was hotter and where was a little bit not so hot on the face. So they've created this kind of ripple effect uh, face, which means, all in all, in the most frequently hit places on that face, there will be faster ball speeds. Faster ball speeds is a recurring theme you'll see in this video. Everyone is going for that this season, which you can understand because faster ball speeds equates to more distance. We have again got the jailbreak technology, which we see in the Rogue and the old Epic. This again stabilizes the crown and the sole. Bit more stability again, bit more ball speed. If I had a quid every time I said ball speed in this video, I'd be minted. Uh, there is adjustable perimeter weighting, so at the back of the club, uh, there is a draw and fade bias little bar. It doesn't go to the full extent of the head, it just kind of goes ha halfway. So it starts in the middle and it goes up to half and down to half for draw and fade. And again, there is a variety of lofts and shafts in this driver. The MRRP is 499 for this driver, so you're looking about 500 quid like we are with the TaylorMade M5. Next, we've got the Titleist TS2 and TS3. This is more of a 2018 driver, however, it's going to be massive when I think it comes to your selection in 2019. These drivers are all about speed. They have a new streamlined shape when compared to the previous model, the Titleist 917, a thinner, faster face, so again, more ball speed. And they also include the extremely successful sure fit neck, which you can adjust lofts and lie angles in the Titleist drivers. In the TS3 they've got the sure fit weight CG port which is um, it, more towards the back of the driver head you can adjust draw and fade bias that way as well if you want to as well as the line angles. The head design of the TS3 means that it's slightly lower launching and slightly lower spinning and retailing at 449 both of these drivers they fit bang in the middle of the current market that tends to be the most popular price for a driver in 2019 around the 449 mark so there you go Titleist TS2 TS3. Next up, this is the massive dark horse of my top five drivers of 2019. This is the Cobra F9 Speedback. Recently reviewed by Rick Shields, he gave this massive praise and he said that this is possibly the driver to beat in 2019. Black and yellow colour scheme, it's got a, like a supercar look to it. It looks absolutely mint, very sleek, quick uh, like lines on the crown as you look down on it. From the bottom it looked very triangular, but then when you flip it over it looks a little bit more circular, which is good. Not mad keen on those triangular drivers myself. Uh, the speed back technology means that the centre of gravity has been moved lower and further back to increase the moment of inertia, meaning that they could potentially increase ball speeds on those off-centre hits. 
increase ball speeds again. Super aerodynamic, and in the testing that I've seen done by your big YouTubers like Rick Shields and Mark Crossfield, they've been getting uh, quicker club head speed, which is also good. There's a weight in the front and a weight in the back. Uh, if you put the heavier weight, which is 14 grams in the front, and the lighter weight, which is 3 grams in the back, that means it's slightly lower spinning bias. If you flip them around, you get a bit more spin, a bit more for forgiveness. Adjustable neck again to these. You can't move the lofts a lot. There's three different types of heads, which have got different lofts, uh, but you can change the line angle in the, uh, on the neck sleeve. Mill face, same as the F8 Plus, again, which is Cobra's claims that they're going to increase ball speed. And, interestingly enough, this one's got Cobra Connect, so similar to like Game Golf and Arcos, that kind of stuff. You've got Cobra Connect in the top of the grip. If you can connect that, then you can look at your statistics, um, how far you've been into the driver, how many fair wage of it, all that kind of good stuff as well. Big plus point of the Cobra F9 Speedback Driver is that it retails at 349, which is like £100 cheaper than any other. I've got on this list, so that is why I think it's the big dark horse, Cobra F9 Speedback, one to watch out for in 2019. And finally, the big one, this one gets me excited because you know I'm a Ping fanboy if you're, uh, if you're tuned into the channel regular. This is the Ping G410, black and crimson colour scheme, I'm a Man United fan, this club is dying to go into my bag, I know it, I can feel it. First Ping driver from what has been reported, there's not much on the internet about this driver, but we have seen it in, in the shop, we've had our ping representative come in and show it to us. It's the first ping driver to have draw and fade bias weighted, very exciting stuff. Ping only ever have an adjustable neck sleeve, which means you can adjust loft, never have draw and fade bias. So this is a first. Available in a variety of loft and shaft options, as all of these are. It continues with the turbulators, which we've seen on previous ping drivers that have been very successful. The G400, possibly one of the best drivers pings ever made, so they're keeping some of that technology in and adding the draw and fade bias weighting into the G410 head. Keeping the forge faced, which we saw first in the Ping G400 Max, which was used by Cameron Champ, the biggest hitter on tour. So again, when we think about, you've got it increasing ball speed, uh, forge face is going to help you do that. Different head designs, which we see throughout the Ping range, is from what I've seen so far on the internet, we've got the Plus head, which I presume will be 460cc, and very similar to that of the G400 Max, but we'll have the draw and fade bias weighting. Straight flight technology, which is always draw bias, so I presume that it will be more weighted in the heel as they normally are, those types of heads. And then later on in the year, we're going to see an LS Tech driver. This will retail at 449 the most common price of what we see in the market in 2019. That is the one for me that I am most excited about. So that's in no order, but I think G410 could be the one for me moving into 2019. Just a couple of notable mentions, we've got the Wilson Cortex driver which won uh, the Driver vs Driver US TV program which Rick Shields was a judge in, I do believe, so that's one to look out for. And another one for me this season that could be very interesting is the Mizuno ST190. They've gone from the blue crown to a, like a stealth looking black crown, looks absolutely mint and I do believe that the Wilson staffers such as Luke Donald will now be putting this Mizuno driver in play for the coming season so there are two alternatives to look out for. If you like this video please leave it a like, share, subscribe if you've not already and until next time thanks for watching, cheers!